All right, I'm gonna go over some Meerkat basics on uh, troubleshooting. So let's say that I load up an image, or uh, this is actually gonna be a raster, and then I'm also going to want to engrave this raster. So we load it up here. Okay, perfectly reasonable thing. I simulate my job, and it says it'll go like this, and then so I simulate my job, does the raster, jumps around, does a bunch of cuts. Okay, and then I like this, so I send it to my laser. Now, my laser is actually unplugged right now, so uh, you'll notice that in spooler, which if we load up the spooler window, it's not actually sending any of the data. And it will pop up a window here now that says, uh, and now here there's a, a USB log thing it loads up automatically if it loaded it up here so it'll give me the USB log and it's uh, failing on the USB connection so you can pause the retrying and it suspends the retry and let me plug in my device now okay now I resume my retrying and it is now uh, doing the rastering on the laser as it has successfully found it. Okay, so this window should pop up if your uh, error is that the laser is not connecting and then it should let you uh, attempt to connect as many times as you want. So uh, until it's suspended or uh, you retry you pause the controller uh, my laser is now stopped because it stopped receiving data because once I stopped sending the data it uh, ran out after a bit I can resume and then it starts back up and let's go ahead and do this this is the job spooler so you can see which items it has yet to cut this is helpful in telling whether it's uh, done these operations. So it's currently doing cut code one. This is the large raster operation because I don't have the raster mixing together. And let's do pause. And then I'm going to reset the uh, item. So it will no longer be, uh, so there's no longer anything in my spooler. So if you look at my spooler, it has cleared out my spooler with the reset. Now let me run the job again, or simulate it again, and then run it here. Now, if I select a different one that doesn't have anything, and say I select spooler two, and I send this to laser, then in the spooler, uh, you can see that the spooler actually went to spooler two, and it's sitting there and not running, but it's not actually going to pop up any window because there is no, uh, proper controller. So if I went to uh, device three, which is none here, and then I load it up, uh, load up my controller, it'll say, you know, the output of selected device has no controller that provides no GUI. So it just sits there because it doesn't actually go anywhere. And this could maybe mess you up if you uh, weren't careful. But basically, in Spooler, you can see all your jobs. So my typical LHY Studios controller has uh, nothing in it. The Spooler 2 has something. Uh, if I go ahead and reset, I should be able to... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't even reset that because it doesn't have a device to clear out the Spooler. So... If we go back here and then I select this, this is the pain for it. Uh, it'll list the items that you have in the current spooler. Uh, and then here it will give you uh, options for uh, restoring things. So if you wanted to say disconnect, let's say if for some reason you didn't know what mock did and you turned on mock and then you connected and it connected with mock, you would be able to uh, send the items to the mock controller. Uh, let me show you that really fast. 
uh, let me actually do panes go and then just say go processing and sending sends it directly okay and then see you we have these items in the spooler but it's not actually running the laser because it's in mock so if I go back to uh, so if I reset it I load up the controller window and then I unselect mock it doesn't actually uh, fully unselect mock and then it's still using the mock window so I have to disconnect the laser and then reconnect again and now it has actually detected my uh, laser which is running with a, a chip version 48 it's a series 9 and then when I go ahead and reset this it went ahead and homed my device and then I go ahead and hit go and it sends it straight out to the laser and the laser has started the rastering process. Uh, I have the laser disabled currently, but it's still moving around. So you can see in Spooler, the uh, current processes that it's undergoing. And you can see in controller, uh, there's a USB log thing here. You can see in controller what's happening with your USB, whether it's found the device, what device it's found, if it has any little timeout errors, uh, these aren't super critical. They they could uh, cause your laser to uh, briefly stop, but uh, not much more. And then you can uh, disconnect the USB connection, which it will uh, promptly it shut down again and reconnected. And uh, and let me. Uh, show some quick recovery things. I'm going to unplug my device's USB and uh, it is freaked out and connection has failed. And then it uh, keeps attempting to retry the device. And uh, note, it's not actually going to mess anything up and it says all attempts to connect to the USB has failed, but it continues retrying. So when I go ahead and plug my device back in, There. It went ahead and found it again and then uh, started straight back up and uh, resumed. Uh, sometimes your USB could fail in such a way that it's not really detecting it and it takes a couple minutes to recover. You could also switch what uh, USB uh, plug it's in. So you see here in the uh, description of the end type that it has, uh, it's on bus uh, zero at address one. If I unplug it, it goes ahead and freaks out. And then if I plug it into a different USB slot, so I'm plugging it into the slot next to it, it started back up and continued working perfectly fine. And then uh, it seems to say it's on the same bus. Should have actually changed that. But yeah, uh, basically, this will give you information about what's currently going on in your controller. Uh, this will give you information about what's currently being spooled to your controller. Okay, uh, that should about cover everything. Uh, thanks for watching.